Hello. So in this video, I want to quickly show how you can add a, a new profile for virtual reality in Helix Vision. So in this example, I'm going to show it for Doom Eternal. So um, before we start, you want obviously you need to have Helix Vision installed, and you need to be on um, where is it on this branch, the CI uh, beta. Currently, I think in the future uh, the guys will update the main branch and all of this will be there. But currently, you need this branch. So you start Helix Vision and the application starts. And if you look here, you will see that there is no name Eternal. So, first thing you want to go to settings and you want to say use program for 3D Vision. This will allow us to actually add a new profile. So, click on new. And here I'm going to say the eternal uh, 3D fix, whatever you want there. Um, game launch exe, I'm going to say pick file. I'm actually going to go here and do eternal 64VK. Okay, Steam App ID. So, Steam App ID, the easiest way is you go on your desktop where the Steam icon is made. Uh, properties and you find the ID there. I'm going to up, paste it in there. Um, install game folder again, choose path. You can go where you have it installed. Up, what? No, I want Steam, Steam apps. Come on. Do me turn on and say OK. Uh, relative path is the same. Um, here are it's a bunch of other stuff that you don't need. You need to say compatible to VR. Yes, uses direct mode. Well, I normally say yes because that's what I'm using, but in this case, it doesn't really matter. And create profile. Now I have it created, and you see it's there it thinks it's installed so if i go back to uh, applications virtual reality i should have it there right so now i should be able to hit uh, play in vr but before that i'm going to go to settings display profiles whatever but this frame rate limit i'm going to set it to full and the reason i want i'm doing that is because i use a vive pro which refreshes at 90 uh, hertz if i say half that's 45. So in the game, I only get 45 frames. And I want this game to run constantly at 60. So I'm going to refresh the headset at full. So once that's done, I'm ready to start VK2 Division and playing VR. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Oh, and one thing that I forgot, and it's very important. And it's what I actually need to do is, yep, because I don't have it, fine. So I can go back here and say, uh, division, yep. And I want to edit and I need to specify the API, which I forgot to do. It's somewhere around here. <coughs> Render API, you want Vulkan. Right. Unknown will still try to use the 3D Vision driver. Vulkan is the one that uh, VK 3D Vision uses directly with Helix Vision, so you don't need 3D enabled and all that stuff. So now that's done, I'm going to say play in VR. And you'll see, yeah, Steam VR tries to start. I don't have my uh, VR headset turned on, but you should see Katanga. And then actually Doom starting. Um, yeah. So that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, but you can see Doom is starting and. And that's it, what you need to have it set up. I hope this video helps.
Cheers.